I'll be the first to admit that I'm making a huge jump between this and the last stuff because this was purchased, um, oh my, when the heck did I get this? I got this like 2005 or so. Uh, and this is a huge leap forward from the last batch of stuff. because, And that's because I've been playing with the old stuff for so long that I just kind of didn't buy anything then else. Then I got went to the Spec Ops Company stuff, so I kind of figured, hey, i, I got to get in on this. This looks really good, so I got myself a set. What Special Ops did was they kind of took the best of both worlds and made a hybrid of, like, it was a good camouflage, but it was also a good speedball gear, too. And I've played with this stuff in both, and it's equally as good. Much like you have your tournament jerseys, they have the, uh, the, the, uh, the skid plates on both sides, but they also have these pads up here on the shoulders. You don't think about these until you think about wearing a vest, and you want something that's going to give you at least a little bit of padding for all that weight you're carrying around on your torso, and this helps a little bit. They also put stretch gussets inside the pants. They put them on the legs up here. They put them down the stretch gusset in the crotch. But they also added a padded crotch, too, which is really good stuff. These also have very light padding in the knees. Not enough that I wouldn't go out without additional knee pads underneath it, but it's, it's kind of a bonus. Plus, they have the specialty pockets, too. They got the squeegee pocket. They got a couple of... Uh, BDU style pockets on the sides. But the one big thing that they did was they kind of made that breakthrough. They kind of said, hey, camo can be cool now. I will say this, that before this, a lot of the companies were making camouflage jerseys, but they were almost like an afterthought. They would kind of just throw it out there, of, well, maybe the Woods guys will like this. One thing I did enjoy, and this is kind of a thing for me, is that they brought back the patches. And to me, that's just, that's kind of, that's old school. That's kind of a a throwback to the old days. I've been wearing this as like knock-around camouflage for years now. This is this is what I put on when it's just like, okay, it's going to be green outside, got to throw these on, you're good. They've actually made one other evolutionary step, and I'll show you that next time.